starting to get a little ugly. Um, I guess this is a good place to start. This was, okay, let me say this right now. It is June the 4th, 2018, 1036 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am Two Street Controversy. This is Two Street Controversy Live. And yesterday, news came out that Billy Joe Saunders would not be fighting Martin Murray, defending his WBO 160-pound title against uh, on, on June the 23rd. For those who don't know, if you've been living under a rock, there's four major belts. To be an undisputed champion, you have to have three belts. Right, I mean, you have to have four belts. Golovkin has the WBC, the WBA, and the IBF. Billy Joe Saunders has that highly coveted 160-pound WBO title. So Martin Murray, who's been in a training camp for a long-ass time, because this fight actually, before it was canceled and now again, was supposed to take place, what, back in March or April? I forgot. So Martin Murray is pissed and he went on to let's start here. Let's start here. Let's start here. All right. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe. Good morning. Just think it's better you heard it from me rather than you had another bullshit story. But um, the fight's off with Billy Joe Saunders. He shits out again. First time with his arm, now it's his arm string. Uh, we know that he's just trying to make a big money for a glove can knock on a lot. And I'm too risky to fight, just don't want to fight me, but there's nothing I can do, you know, it's the second time I've took myself away from my family, uh, got my body in this condition, ready to fight and get to the last minute, it's, uh, it's cancelled, so obviously gutted, but nothing I can do, just want to apologise to everybody who's bought tickets, you know, booked hotels, booked train fares, um, and just say thank, thank you to everybody for the continued support and believing in me. The management team's working on an alternative, so hopefully I'll, uh, I'll have a new day in the next couple of weeks. But like I said, thanks to everyone for the continues. Okay, so Martin Murray. Now remember, he is well known for... He should have got a win, in my opinion, over Sergio Martinez way back in... What year was that? What year was that? 2012 something? 2011? I don't remember. Um, he should have got that win in Argentina, but because of some hometown cooking, he was not the WBC champion. Remember, at that point in time, Sergio Martinez had just put on a, put on a masterful performance, also a performance that technically kind of ended his career against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Martin Murray has been in the talks to fight Canelo at one point in time in the past. I remember because I overheard this was at the Hopkins versus Kovalev press conference down in Atlantic City. And I overheard I was sitting. Um, it was like in a uh, auditorium and Eric Gomez and somebody. I think it was Abel Sanchez because Abel Sanchez, one of his fighters was fighting on the card. Was it Kovalev at the time? Whatever the case may be, um, they were talking about how they couldn't make the Martin Murray fight. Because Martin Murray couldn't fight in the United States. You know, there's some issues with some hell raising he did in the past and, you know, something along where he can't fight in the United States. So moving forward, he finally went on and got the Golovkin fight and fought a very good fight before getting stopped in the ninth round. I mean, he was being dominated. But at that point in time, it was Golovkin's biggest fight of his career and Golovkin's was on his way to becoming um the wbc champion he was eliminating martin murray who was a future mandatory for that then title that was held by miguel Cotto at that time if i'm correct so moving on this was yesterday where martin murray said this and this is what billy joe saunders had to say just a couple of hours ago and you know it seems as though it was kind of getting under his skin but this is just a little piece this is just a little piece we're going to talk about it please subscribe about business the reason why you are with as a matter of fact, I'm going to play the full. In fact, let's go back down memory lane first, you know, because people before Billy Joe Saunders fought David Lemieux. I remember a lot of fans were like, David Lemieux is going to knock his fucking head off. I can't wait to see him, you know, lose. And, you know, he's just holding the belt hostage over there. He don't want to fight nobody. And when he went out there and schooled the shit out of um, David Lemieux and it was not it, was, it wasn't just a schooling, but it was an entertaining schooling schooling where he was national boxing or combat sports not just boxing but combat sports you had joe rogan talking about it combat sports headlines and it closed the year out strong for hbo you know and just boxing in general 
And now to see that this is happening, if it's not going to be Martin Murray next, because a lot of people felt that, OK, this is just a fight for him to stay active and it's been postponed once. And now it seems to be off entirely. You have to wonder, um, you know, logical people are think, thinking, OK, well, he's going to fight either Canelo or Golovkin next. Right. Well, from my research, let's just go back down memory lane. Please subscribe. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Oh, my bad. God bless you both. Touch up. This was the, and, and it just was just, it's, it's, it's looking at it now, it's just a bad look to see him go from this type of performance to this, I, I, you know, because you, you can't doubt a fighter's injury, but it's just that this promoter who he's under, you know, who actually like Frank Warren and his fighters, and his cards have a history of not of not coming through. His fighters have a history of getting like last minute injuries or the cards being postponed at the last minute for whatever reasons. And a lot of people were thinking like, oh, OK, yeah, he want to fight Martin Murray once that he saw that Canelo Golovkin wasn't going through. So he's going to fight one of them. Michelle Joy Phelps, a uh, well-known boxing uh, media media journalist, you know, very good woman. I've talked to her um, several times. Um, about some issues in the past. Long story short, um, she got an interview on her channel with Abel Sanchez, and I'm more likely to believe that we would see Canelo versus Saunders than Golovkin versus Saunders. After all, who do you think would offer more? Who do you think that Billy Joe Saunders can make more money with? Yeah, there's that prestige of fighting Golovkin and possibly beating him. And becoming the undisputed champion of the world in the four belt era in the four belt era you know no telling when that can ever be done if aj don't do it but many say he will against wilder that's a whole different video the point is who has more to offer canelo or golovkin team Canelo's team, they'll say, okay, you come over here. You know, it's going to be a big fight. It's going to be Canelo's return September. You know, uh, Independence Day weekend, you know, in the T-Mobile Arena in Vegas, you know, and, and your fans are going to follow you over here. Unless Billy Joe's going to say, no, I'm the champion. You come over here. But in this case, I think Billy Joe would travel. And if he was to fight Golovkin, would Golovkin go over there? And could they do it in a stadium? But who knows when? You know, could it be in September, or October? In this case, if Saunders is going to be fighting Canelo, we should expect to hear some type of announcement in the next few weeks, right? Because it just seems as though this, uh, this, 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 this fight is off. It seems as though this Martin Murray fight is off. For example, um, let's listen to some of this. In fact, I'm going to play all of it for you, so you can have um some context of what's going on. Let's let me play this. You're frustrated because you wanted your paycheck before you give up. Mate, I see you put on the I'm a shit end of the boxing world. This is aimed at you, Martin Murray. Mate, I see you put on the I'm a shit house and this and that you put on your Instagram. Who the fuck has got this shit house from you? What you are is a bum. You are a tick over fight for me. You was a tick over fight. You were never dangerous. You were played eat the jab. You'd have got beat comfortable. But I understand that you're frustrated because you wanted your paycheck before you give up and retire because you've got family. But there's one thing here, Martin Murray. If I'm a shithouse, I'll be in Manchester on Saturday. Walk to my face and say that. Walk to my face and say that to my face. And I will lay you cold up the floor. That's what will happen to you. So, uh, for shithouse reasons, and you brung the David A tweet up. Yes, I did tweet David A's a shitbag when you're supposed to fight Tyson Fury. I did tweet that because Tyson Fury spent about 90 grand on two training camps and the fight didn't happen. So there's a difference between shithouse David A and a big difference between me. 
Yeah? I'm a man that will fight anybody. I'm a man who don't give a fuck where they're from, who they're from. I will fight any man born from his mother's cunt. Let's talk about business. The reason why you are where you are, and I'm where I'm at, because I'm a clever businessman when it comes to stuff like this. You are nothing but a bum who takes chances and desperate needs. I've got no need to do that. I have plenty of money. I, I invest. I've invested. I've done very sensible things. So I don't need to take silly risks for money. I don't need to do that. I'm at the business scale of the stuff now. So just to get back to you that I ship from you, who are you to say that I ship from you? Who are you, mate? Martin Murray, been beat ten times. You're a nobody, mate. You're an absolute nobody. Sorry to get you off your high horse because you've got an else to be fighting for a world title and that you're not doing it now because of the reason the big Jippo here, you know, he's got injured and he's not going to take no silly risks. So stick to your track and I will stick to my track. There's a difference between I'm undefeated and not been beaten because I've been sensible. And uh, you don't take chances at the business end. Millions and millions of pounds at stake, you don't do that. So I'm sure if the shoe was on the other foot, you would have been the same. But just to get one thing clear, that is, it's most definitely, most definitely not because I'm scared of you, Martin Murray. Because like I said, if I'm scared of you, Martin Murray, I will be Tyson Fury's fight Saturday. Come to my face and say it to my face and you will see what will happen to you. That's all I'm going to say. So everybody have a peaceful, peaceful week. Plenty of minge, plenty of focus, stay on top of things. Plenty of Peace out. Amen. Um, so, you know, I mean, if that's not, wait, let me go check something real quick in this goddamn fucking shit, the shit bag fruit fly, but this is what I wanted to look at. This is what I wanted to look at. The shit bag fruit fly. It's fucking with me. So, um, if you remember, or if you don't, um, Golden Boy is at a stage right now where they're saying that they're done with the Golovkin talks. Now, is it pump thinking? They're saying that Golovkin is afraid. Now, it's it's I, can't, I don't want to get too deep into it because it's a whole nother video. Canelo versus Golovkin, what's going on with that? It's a whole nother video. But I, I don't feel that the talks are exactly 100% dead. So if if Billy Joe Saunders is not injured, right, not really injured, you know, and some shit goes down where the fight doesn't go through, then we're going to be looking at another year with where Billy Joe Saunders has only one fight. And it's going to look bad after the momentum he had off of the David Lemieux situation. Because let's face it, if he was, if he was to fight, it's going to be in September or October, right? He ain't going to fight again in, in, in December, even though he did it with the Willie Monroe. I was surprised he took that fight. And he said the reason why is because he wanted to have two fights under his belt at the post fight, you know, um, and during the, 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 the pre-fight and post-fight press conference. You know, about like, listen, you know, like I fought Willie Monroe in September and like this David Lemieux fight. If we didn't take it in his backyard in up in Canada, then for me to get it overseas, even though I'm the champion, it would have fell into this year, 2018. So I, I have a feeling that if 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 he if he does get the Canelo fight, then maybe Golden Boy or Frank Warren called him and say, hey, listen, we're not going to cancel the whole card, but you off that card. You know, there's some serious shit going down. We can't, you know, we got to keep it quiet. There's some serious shit going down, but you may be getting a Canelo fight. You know, and it's so much logic that plays into why we could possibly see Canelo versus Golovkin too in May next year. If Canelo does beat Billy Joe Saunders and if Billy Joe Saunders does beat, you know, um, uh, Canelo, you know, if he does, because he does have the skills to do it. If he, if, if he does, you know, then Canelo, I mean, Golovkin Saunders is much bigger, right? Especially if they decide to do it in the UK at some stadium somewhere and say, yeah, look, you know, and BT Sports is counting on that. You think him and Tyson Fury is not BT Sports number one guys right now? Box Nation? And Box Nation is supposed to be everything BT Sport now? You know? So... You know, there's a lot of storylines and, you know, back cutting going on. And, you know, Martin Murray going to look at his uh, social media. He's still pretty pissed. You know, he's still talking about it. I mean, you, you, you know, you can't really be 
upset at him. Like, that's some fucked up shit, you know, especially when you're in training camp all that time. You're spending the money on training camp. You know, um, I don't know. We don't know the details of the contract. So if if uh, Saunders does go on to fight a Golovkin or Canelo, I think it would be a Canelo. Um, maybe he can get a little bit of that money, fight on an undercard against somebody, you know, you know. I really didn't, you know, trust him at 160 pounds anyway when he's been fighting at 168 the last few years. Let's go look at it real quick before we go. Let's go look at it real quick. Thirty-six forward one with seventeen KOs. He was known. He's known as a pressure fighting power puncher. You know, like like he he can, you know, he has shown ability to be able to cut off the ring, especially against Sergio Martinez. Uh, Thirty-five years old. Uh, the Gabriel Rosado was a pretty, you know, uh, it had it had some buzz around it. You know, uh, one hundred sixty-eight pounds. He fought George Groves, lost to him. One sixty-eight. Arthur Abraham lost at one sixty-eight. I didn't trust him at 160. I don't know. I didn't trust him going back to 160. Just my personal opinion. But anyway, I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe. Uh, yeah, we back. We back.